how many pastors that are actually counseling right now actually right. calling themselves therapists? It's dangerous. It's so dangerous. They actually, you, you know, how many pastoral groups that are out there right now? I mean, or, or ministerial groups or marriage. Oh, I'm pastor such and such, and then I, and this is such and such, and we are we here to do our marriage counseling. You know what I mean? And both of y'all niggas is miserable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it for you. Let me say. It for you. <laughs> oh, miserable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Miserable. Living, living, in, living in married at church and living in separate houses. Right. Right. Looking at poor. But you know why pastors got that power, right? <laughs> Make you know why they you know why they don't need no special training, right? You know why they don't have to be licensed, right? They under the auspices you of know the why Holy they Spirit. don't need no psychology. I don't know. Right? I don't know. You gotta tell they me. They don't need professional training, they don't mm -hmm. need to go to school, mm -hmm. they don't need anybody to come in and tell them how they're supposed to perform as pastors mm -hmm. when it comes to counseling. They mm -hmm. don't need any of that. You know why? Because they're called by God. Mm -hmm. they're Gee, called that's, by what God. Was, that's what I was thinking that she was and saying. They yeah. are sacred. They are above gotcha. society. Mm -hmm. above. They're above the psychologists, mm -hmm. right? No, we and don't. Who gives them that power? God does. But in our in they our don't. society, because what they're doing is technically illegal. <laughs> yes, it is illegal, but society has ordained the church to be and give that to have that authority. But yeah. do you know that? Yeah. Do you do you know that psychologists and all of these professional services literally work with the church and empower yeah. them in the places yeah. that they're in? You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the church has a lot of power. This is why I'm telling y'all we have got to dismantle these, these sacred things because the only way we're going to heal, the people in the church are going to heal, is if we feel empowered to deconstruct this stuff and then reconstruct so that we can move on further. Let me yeah. just one scripture I wanted to add to LaDonna because <laughs> we got a lot of church people in here. <laughs> And I think it's really apropos to say this because she, <laughs> she talked about how we are, are not growing and how we're dependent on the church and we don't have that I, that separate, a single identity, autonomy. We mm -hmm. don't know how to take control of our lives because we've been told the whole time in church to let the spirit lead us. So we've been asking the church to be possessed by another spirit, right? Mm. Doesn't matter that it's supposed to be a good spirit or a God spirit. We have been asked to be possessed, to be mm -hmm. impregnated, to be infiltrated, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to be controlled by. So mm -hmm. that takes away your autonomy. Mm -hmm. That takes away your power to make uh, the changes that you need in your life. So listen to this scripture. And y'all tell me how y'all think it fits, why the church isn't, isn't doing so well. Hebrews 6, 1 through 4. Mm -hmm. Therefore, right, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Let us go on to perfection. All right. right? Uh huh. Not laying again uh -huh. the foundation, foundation of <laughs> repenting for all them sins you keep committing and going back. You know how they used to say sinning and repenting, right? Repentance from dead works mm -hmm. and of listen to this one. Y'all know I used to be a preacher. I feel my <laughs> help coming. <right? laughs> Preach, Doc. <laughs> Repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Mm -hmm. Why do we keep telling people to have faith in God and mm -hmm. the scripture says to move past it? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 2 of the doctrines of baptism, of laying on of hands, of mm -hmm. resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. Why did Paul, as crazy as he was, mm -hmm. make that known to people? Because mm -hmm. what he was trying to get people to see is these rituals and doctrines and practices that you are stuck in 
Mm -hmm. If you don't grow up and mature mm -hmm. and move past all of that stuff and try to strive for perfection, that mm -hmm. means take some damn responsibility for your life. Mm -hmm. And then the mm -hmm. next verse says, this we will do if God permits. Now, why is it God permitting? Because who's mm -hmm. God? <laughs> the church. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done.